Ladies and gents, my name is Sogdaya. This is Three Minute Thursdays, and today's move is what we call the lampshade. Because clearly it looks like a lampshade. So, how do you do this move? Again, I always recommend to start with a plastic bottle. But in this case, it's fine to also start with this one. It can be kind of noisy, this move, and you'll see what I mean. When you start to land it, it makes this sort of not as satisfying sound as, as this one. It's a satisfying sound. Anyway, how do you get used to doing this move? As with most of the other moves, you start to break it down. And I will start with literally just dropping the shaker. Well, that's not working. Dropping the shaker on top of the bottle. Now, if it happens like this, then you want to start figuring out how do you move the bottle so the shaker's falling on top. So you're throwing it up, flat throw, and catching it. Up, flat throw, catching it. Then you want to start doing the spin. So, okay, just one spin, following the open end of the shaker and trying to get your bottle inside the and open end of the shaker. When you start using a bottle which has got a pour spout, it becomes a bit more difficult because the pour spout makes the bottle there we go. Makes the bottle much taller. So instead of what can normal, what can start happening is as you throw it up and it comes round, you may start hitting it on the pour spout. If that's happening, you just have to remember to bring the, the bottle down a little bit and then try and catch the, the shaker. So you could, well, I was just on, but you could end up start, starting to do that. So you just got to start with the, the bottle further down and then bringing the bottle up as the shaker spins around. And then once you get good at that, then you can start trying it over your shoulder, behind your back, and many, many other different variations for the lampshade. The other thing with this one is that depending on where you're holding the bottle, as the tin falls down, it may start to hit your knuckles, in which case you want to just hold it a little bit lower down. So put the shaker on top of the bottle, figure out where you need to put your hand so it's not going to hit your knuckles, so you're confident uh, that it's not going to hurt, and then you can start practicing the move, you're not going to hurt your knuckles, and everyone will be happy, we hope. Cool, that was the lampshade move. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed the move. Good luck practicing it. Let me know how you got on with the move as well. And if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends and family about it. Practice hard, practice strong, practice smart. Till next time, we'll see you then.